Greetings.
Hi, how was your day? So, Yamagishi, do you sense anything? No. By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't keeping you here because we hate you. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Chidori? Again? What's your obsession, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Can I just talk to her? Iori, it seems like you're letting your emotions get the best of you. Is everything okay? Well, not exactly. I know she attacked me, but... I can't stop thinking about her. Junpei-kun. Sheesh. Hmm. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, try and talk to her. Got it. You okay? I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. <laughs> You're still drawing pictures, even in the hospital. You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. 
She spoke. No one else but me can understand my pictures. Chidori! Y your arm! Again? Fuka, get a doctor! Right away! Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. No, I thought I'd removed all the sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even one moment. But fortunately, she heals at an astounding rate. Let go of me! Then, at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for your help. You were the one who misunderstood. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. It's not right. And I won't let you. The doctor will be here soon. You two should go now. Yeah. So, you seem to have found your voice. Hi, how was your day?
Hey. Yo, Chitterita. Don't call me that. Come on, cheer up. I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. That wasn't necessary, Junpei. <laughs> you said my name. I was worried I'd never hear that again. <sighs> Any luck? She finally started talking, but nothing useful yet. Well, that's a start. So, why are you here? <gasps> Chidori, what's, what's wrong? <gasps> I get the feeling there's something in here. Is it an enemy? Wrong! Get out of the way! <gasps> Chidori! Relax. Her persona just went berserk. It happens. It... happens? Were you guys not watching at all? You could see for a second that her persona was strangling her. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants to keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? You know about Strega? You'd be surprised what you can learn on the streets. I'll give the doc the right pills. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! I... I... Junpei? Oh, thank God! I thought you might be. Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you saying? 
Dying just means you don't wake up anymore. That's all. What? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want you to die, Chidori! Junpei. Just because you're not afraid doesn't mean no one else is. Did you ever think about how I might feel? <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, wait! Shinji! What the hell's going on? Why did you have those pills? I've heard about those. They're taken to suppress a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> Answer me! I don't owe you anything. <sighs> the same as always. Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power, but you're just too thick-headed. I'm tired of your damn preaching. Yeah. Ow! Don't you get it? You know the reason. Ten years ago, my sister, the fire. I wasn't strong enough to save her. They held me back while she... That's why I try so hard. We promised, remember? To become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why the drugs? Why didn't you come talk to me? I'm back in the fight now. So let it go. <sighs> and then the side effects? <sighs> There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. Like what? Listen, don't worry about me. Just do what you think is right. Shinji.
Welcome back.
<laughs> Where have you been? No one else is coming today. But they said we can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why they started watching me in the first place. Oh, how's that cut doing? Probably already healed, huh? So, uh, how come you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh... Not really. Uh, your flowers are all dried up. Must be the heat. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some new flowers? What's your favorite kind? Chidori, what's the matter? <sighs> the flowers? Those are cut flowers, right? Wow, how'd you do that? I made them healthy again. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? Well, yeah, I guess, but... That's about all I've got going for me. Without that, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. Or why I'm here at all. Why? Why we are here? When I was a kid, I had this crazy dream. What kind of dream? That one day I'd grow up to be a pro baseball player. <laughs> Pretty stupid, huh? I guess that's part of being a kid. 
Is that so? I don't remember much from my childhood. All I remember is being surrounded by white. Huh? I hate hospitals. Yeah, me too. <sighs> I'm sorry. But I don't mind that much this time. Since you come to see me so often. Chidori. I... I understand. I won't let you down. Welcome back. I never felt like I never felt like I never felt like 
It's been a while. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. Yet some things will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Yes. If you say so, then it must be. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. That tower, for instance. I've been thinking about it lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? No matter what the future holds, you and I will be friends. That is for certain. I'll come again, my dearest. Welcome back. You too can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up through the summer heat. The key ingredient is green cayenne pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kelp broth. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size and... Pasta cooker? Do we have one here? Oh, it's still pretty hot. It requires energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. Oh crap! We have returned. We're home, Korachan. Oh, shh. We should be quiet. It looks like Shinjiro Senpai's asleep. He says that Shinjiro san is not asleep. Huh? 
Senpai's Magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Shinjiro Senpai enjoy cooking shows? Oh, that's a new issue. I didn't know this month's was out. Shinjiro-san frequently watches programs like... Uh, it's okay, I guess. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Damn it, I forgot she understands dog talk. Huh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, boy. Next time I'll make you something too, Kona-chan.
Did you get some rest? Welcome back.
Where have you been? You weren't quick enough, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Supposedly it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly too, so it'll be around for a while. Yeah, thanks to that the school festival got canned. <laughs> Setting all that stuff up is a pain, so I don't mind. But it sucks that we'll be stuck indoors. So, how are you going to spend your break? Are you serious? Come on, we're only young once! What about you, Fuka? Me? Well, the only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie. Is it a date? It's... it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. She absolutely loves movies. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll be able to go. How about you, Yukatan? Will you still have practice? I doubt it. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely cancelled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. What about you, Senpai? I haven't decided. Besides, what business is it of yours, Iori? Me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she has stabilized, we cannot release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She wants me to come. Not to brag or anything, 
I uh, just thought I should check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Is that so? What's up with him? Um, well... You don't know either? Oh, yeah. Ken-kun, what are you going to do during the break? Oh, nothing in particular. Come on, you have to be doing something. Well, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. But that's where I always go. I guess you could say I made a vow. Anyway, I'm going back to my room. I have a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Well, call me if you get stuck. I have been waiting for you. I last summoned you in your dreams quite some time ago. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered my assistance. Now then, your special power, Persona. Have you been using it wisely? Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. Henceforth, you shall be able to fuse four or more personas. I am certain that this will be of great benefit to you. But now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Until we meet again, farewell.
Hello.
<laughs> Where have you been? Where have you been?
accepted. Unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. <gasps> Surface body temperature reads 98.7 degrees. No fever. At this rate, she should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. <clears throat> I mustn't stay too long, or I'll receive another reprimand. Everyone is very worried about you. <clears throat> there are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. <clears throat> I need only sneak out again before morning. I... We'll keep watch over her for a little longer.
Oh, hey!
Where have you been? Good evening. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens. But who knows what the future will bring. So be careful. Remember, I'm always watching you. We'll meet again. Hey.
Hi, how was your day?
wanna put you in a trance And it's porn Boogie in your body Smoke that body, roll that body Make sure you don't hurt nobody I say hey, hey, hey Still in the body with a burning desire Yeah, get up off of that thing Dance and shake and I swing Come on, go on, let me rock the world <sighs> Whoops, I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I'm not at home, so I suppose being a little lax won't hurt. This fashion magazine. I saw Takiba buying one, so I thought I'd pick one up myself, but... This one piece is beloved by all, including friends, boyfriends, and boyfriends' friends. Alluring yet prudish, the ultimate combination. Oof. What are they talking about? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually just wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. Cute clothes, huh? Well, I do kind of want to try this pink one. Hmm. <laughs> not that I'd be able to pull it off. I'm not like Takiba. I should be careful to remember the distinction between clothes I want to wear and clothes I can wear. I knew this was a bad habit. It's a good way to catch a cold. I should get some rest. I have to wake up early again tomorrow. Now which pajamas should I wear tonight? Let's get going. I'll show you what I'm made of. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> 